Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim. With me and many lives standing in front of the ancient city of Windhelm. We've traveled far to get here, braved many dangers. But at long last, we can enter its gates, meet its people, and take on its quests. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink. And you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. What's going on? We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because Spare they're Imperial spies. Poor old woman. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Hey, back off. <sighs> Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No. I don't hate your people. You've come to the wrong city then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Looks like those Nords were giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Why would anyone think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Just a few septums. Well, what a warm welcome. All right, Silda. I'll give you a few coins if you'll stop interrupting me. Spare a coin for an old woman, my lord. Ah, uh, if I can figure out how stairs work. Spare a coin. Talos rewards the generous. Here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. So do the gods of completion, because not only is that a quest, it is also the first time we've given money to a beggar, which is part of our champion of charity goal, which is to give to all beggars. So, you're very welcome. The divine smile on a charitable soul. Ah. You know what? It is getting late. I want to delve into the streets. There are so many people to talk to, quests to pick up, things to do, many intricate ways and patterns that we can follow. But I think since it's late and I'm cold, I just want to get some warmth in me. Candle Hearth Hall sounds like the place to be. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean mug around you here. You want a drink well, somewhere? Ah, uh, Susanna the Wicked. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. I don't think we're gonna find... Uh, well, actually... I would like some ale. It's gonna come in handy. What else do we have that we would like here? I'll buy some salt. Thanks. See you around, handsome. Alright. I've been a bit out of sorts since, since our daughter was taken from us. Yeah, I clearly forgotten how doors work. That's fine. I saw this high elf the other day at the university. He, he didn't know about doors either. Okay, we have. Is that Rolf? Oh my, you. Every night, I walk around a gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. Hey, you. You a dark elf lover? Get out of our city, you filthy piece of trash! Why do you hate the Dark Elves? They're parasites. They're living in our city under our protection. What, what do they do for us? Nothing. I know the High King invited them here, but he didn't ask me or anyone else first. Maybe he should have. Maybe you should shut your mouth. You really think the Dark Elves are Imperial spies? Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for Skyrim's freedom. Those Thalmor are Elves too. I bet they're working together. Maybe I should round up some men and take us a few prisoners to interrogate. I don't much like your attitude. Don't like it? Too bad. This is our city. Ours! Don't think I can take you? One hundred septums say I can punch you back where you came from. You, mister. 
You're on. All right. Fists only. And none of that magic stuff either. Let's go. You don't think Come I on. can take you? Let's see what you're He did say no magic stuff. No offensive magic stuff. That doesn't mean I can't toss out some fun ideas here. All right. Punchy time. Ugh. Didn't say anything about a shield, did ya? Ugh. So, fist fights on legendary can be tough since we do so little damage compared to them, but we have some tricks up our sleeve. Ugh. Mm. We can punch, but we can also bash just to get a little bit of... Ugh. I don't have edge soup in me right now. Maybe we can actually do without. We're gonna punch Rolf back into yesterday where his friggin' moral compass is stuck. Ugh. Ugh. You know what? I am. While fighting you with one hand, I'm gonna pull out a bowl of vegetable soup in the other. Look, look, look. And just like Popeye with spinach, you are gonna feel the real pain. Ugh. 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 Somebody's yelling combat advice at me from upstairs. Yeah, let's take this upstairs. Come on. Come on, everybody. You want to see a fight? Tonight's entertainment is ready. All right. Here we go. Ugh. All right. Let's battle him. Push him into the fires. <laughs> Push him in. No, this is a brawl. We're not supposed to kill him. We're supposed to teach him a lesson. Ugh. Funnily enough, this is actually Rolf's quest. <laughs> Some people just want to get beat up, okay? And if we can win a little bit of money in the process, uh, all the better. Uh, this is sending a message. And they're singing. Oh, that's perfect. Full on tavern brawl breaks out. I've been here for like five minutes. Oh boy. Uh, it's time for a new regime here in town. Some attitudes I don't much appreciate. Uh, Stone fist, huh? How's this? Ah, for a stony fist. Fight. That wasn't a fair swing. Oh, you lost. Hey, give me my money. Yeah, here. There you go. But that gives you something to think about, huh? Is he just stuck like that? <laughs> he did like a double yield. I've never seen this. I think so I actually Elsa. crippled him. Good to see you again, friend. Oh, we're buddies now. That's great. Watch out, some gray skin doesn't pick your pocket. Oh, he's gonna be crawling for the rest of his life. This is so fitting. Hello. Are you trying to sweep me off my feet, Susanna? I know what's going on. Anyways, the man in the corner yelling combat instructions at us, sitting there in full armor. He seems like someone we could take on the road, does he not? Hello. If it's a mercenary you're looking for, you found him. There's no stronger sword arm for hire in all Skyrim. Stenvar, is it? Consider yourself hired. My blade is sharp and I thirst for battle. Hello. Onward then. <laughs> oh, we have a follower with us. Now, Stenvar, you. Sure. Feel free to hand me all the gold you want. Oh, that is not how this friendship is gonna work. I have a gossip in my left ear, trying to chat up a captain. But that's fine, I'm trying to think of other things. Right now, I can finally place away some things. Ancient Nord Sword, a couple of these things right here. Run the dagger you can get. I actually looked it up. Do you guys remember the shrine from the last episode where we found the dagger and the frost runes? Apparently... There's supposed to be a body there of Rundi, who's supposedly like a missing uh, apprentice from the College of Winterhold, but I believe that quest was cut. However, sometimes the body just doesn't appear. So that's why it was some frost runes and some... It was just interesting to read up on it, but we didn't get to see it. Staff of Fury, I don't feel like I need to carry with me at the very moment. Actually, I would like to sell the Staff of Fury next time we uh, go by a shop. Or I could disenchant it, I suppose. You can keep it for now. Anyways, there's some other stuff here I would like to give you, so I'm gonna just give him some junk, and I'll be right back. And with that, we are looking a little lighter again, and Stembar has a beautiful new hat. Lead on, then. It's not the same thing. Oh. Don't get too well, far ahead. If it works in the one case, why not the other? What's going don't on? Don't you want to at least give it a try? No, I really don't. 
It'll be a while before I'm ready for that. I'll be on my way now. Is she hitting on him? Hello? Be on the lookout. <gasps> the butcher could be around any corner. All right. My poor fella. Hey, anyways. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Hmm. Why is this called Candle Hearth Hall? Did you see the candle above the fire upstairs? It was lit 163 years ago, back when this building was the home of a grand warrior named Vundheim. When word came that he'd fallen, his son Durot lit the candle in his honor. Nobody knows why it still burns. That's pretty nice. Enjoy your stay, and don't break nothing. like nothing. a I made my good story to... Captain, but now I'm retired. Okay. The townsfolk call me captain because I used to be a sailor. What kind of captain are you? Well, nothing. At least not anymore. Folk just call me that because of what I used to do. I was a sailor for many a year. I made my coin as a trader, and in time, I bought my own ship. When I retired here in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as Captain uh, uh, Hey, wait! And the name just stuck. Excuse me, I was- I'm in the middle. Uh, anyways, what's there to do in this city? You know, besides getting rudely pushed around. If you're looking to pass the time, you can give colleagues to a few septims and gawk at whatever oddity he's come across lately. If you're in need of goods, there's a market. If it's a soft bed and a hot meal you're after, there's Candlehearth Hall. Good to know. So, I'm kinda new in town. Who are the prominent citizens? There's an author named Adonato staying at the inn. He's published a few works of historical fiction. Hmm. The clans Shattershield and Krulsi see most of the gold that passes through the city. And obviously you have Ulfric, the Jarl and future High King. Oh, and that busybody Viola Giordano. She's got her nose in everyone's business, which I guess is one way of being prominent. She's all up in your business. <laughs> Fair winds and calm seas. All right. Sailors parting. You! You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. Oh, just because you pray to Talos, so you can go push me around. What does Talos have to do with the war? The Empire's elven puppet masters never cared much for the idea of a human becoming a divine. So the worship of Talos is outlawed. Skyrim doesn't take kindly to being told what to do. And to try and forget Talos, well... They may as well ordered us all to cut off our ears. Hmm. Tell me about Talos. Talos, who in life was known as Tiber Septim, united Tamriel and founded the Empire. He was rewarded for his deeds by being joined with the Divines in eternal glory. The only mortal to do so. We worship him that we might follow in his path. We can't literally join him in the heavens. But we may do our best to know them here on Nern. Hmm. Blessings of RK be upon you. Ex wait, wait a minute. RK? You just... Alright, she's uh... <laughs> That's okay. Little bipolar priests. What do you got behind here? A couple of potions. Hey, Stenvar! Yes! Hopefully Stenvar has less of a moral compass. Oh, I could just take this gold. Miss Far bless me. Yes! We're all friends here, that's what you get for beating up a bigot. Everybody's like, yeah. Hello. I'm a writer by trade. Not that the people of Skyrim do much reading. This You're the one the captain Skyrim. mentioned. What kind of writing do you do? I write drama, friend. The legends and history of Skyrim made to excite and inspire. Poor Gerard Germain at the Bard's College has been waiting for my latest work, Olaf and the Dragon, for weeks now. Roads are a mess. Did he just pour mead down his... I can deliver the book for you. You're clearly very busy. You're sure? When you see Gerard, ask for a tip. I'm sure he'll be in a good mood after reading this. All right. The pages of a good book. All right, a little delivery request. <sighs> Reminds me of Sven. All right, who's you, Mister? Who are you? I'm the cook up at Candlehearth Hall. You're the cook. There's a kitchen. Kitchen means cabbage, potato, leek. 
break. Can we you take a break from playing? Thank you. Anyways. Hello. I own Hollyfrost Farm outside the city. It's honest work, if a bit dull. Alright, we've gotten a good feel for most of the people here, but there's one man I would like to have a talk to. I'd appreciate it if you don't bother my wife, Tova. She's still in mourning. Your wife is in mourning? Our little girl died recently. I've been shouldering my days with strong mead, but nothing gives my Tova peace. I've been looking for an amulet of R.K. to remind my wife that our child is with the gods now, but I can't find one. If I do find one, I'll bring it to you. Thank you. As it happens, we've been wearing an amulet of R.K. since almost the very beginning. Here. Here's an amulet of R.K. I hope R.K. grants my wife some comfort. Thank you. Here, I always pay my debts. Quest complete. 600 gold. Here, have a drink on me. Got any ale or mead? <laughs> I am enabling you and your bad habits. He's a drunk. We can give mead to drunks. Zing! He's Please our friend. Please forgive my mood. I'm still coming to terms with my daughter's death. My favorite drinking buddy. There's Let's the mood I wanted. That's the switch. Take anything for Be on the Everybody keeps talking about a butcher. I mean, I just arrived. They've already given me a nickname. Oh, I could just take things now. Okay, Stenvar. So, a couple of rules. Oh, can we not? I, I can't. I can't deal with the song. Stop. No. What's the hurry? Just some silence. Drum solo, pretty cool. Let's go back to the kitchen. Okay. Let's see here. We have some salt pile. Quick, in and out. Loot the kitchen. What do we got? A sack? Chef's- Whoa! Uh, no! I did- no, listen! Oh, I didn't mean to press the- hold everybody, everybody, take a chill. The- Oh, it's, it's all a mistake! Please, listen to me! I didn't... I can't... Get out of my way! <laughs> Mistfire, please! Oh, okay. Um, reminder to self, don't do whatever I did. <laughs> One misclick. At least it goes to show just how big that range is. Chef's hat. I was just so happy I found a chef's hat that I completely forgot. I need a new look, okay? It's- what we've been doing is good, but look at these. Mystic gloves, chef's hat, and I need some new clothes. I'm tired of looking at the same Mimir. To Skyrim's truest sons and daughters. <sighs> She's singing again. Alright. Oh, I need- I want to get out of here. We're not going to make anything just yet on the uh, stove, because I still would like to loot a little bit. There's still more ingredients to be gotten. Some shoes! You never know when you might need a good, strong... ...shoe. Okay, there's something in the lockbox, and I want to see what it is, and whether or not they let me take it. Oh, we're doing a good job of friending people here, though. I can take this. She's singing two verses at once. It somehow got worse. Oh, I just stole that. I need to be careful. Mistfire, bless me. <sighs> okay, let's search the wardrobe here. Fine clothes, this might be it. Miner's boots and fine clothes. The outfit has been found for this city episode. Oh, look at us. We'll blend right in. <laughs> I love it so much. Every one of us dies. There we go. Beat you to it. What else we- Oh, that's so good. Boop, boop, boop. Thank you. What do we got here? Potion of strength. Huh. I don't need that. Do we have those clothes? They were kind of cool. Search this end table right here. Alright, I want to get out. I want to get out of this place now because the, the singing is getting to me. I like that I seeked out a tavern, and I'm complaining about the singing and the people. It's like, dude, 
you know what you signed up for, Dark. This is what they do at taverns. But it's been a good way for us to meet a couple of people around the city. Forge business letter ledger numbers. Uh, let's do that some other time. I have no reason to do that. Oh no, Viola's at it again. Alright, let's just get out of here. So, we've done a pretty, pretty good first clear. It's the middle of the night, isn't it? You know what? The middle of the night is okay. I walk around a gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. Well, Rolf hasn't learned his lesson. I guess it just goes to show the violence isn't always the answer. Oh, the market! Are those leaks? Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, there's... Hello, <laughs> Miss Guard. Heard they're reforming the dawn. Yeah. Vampire, Vampire hunters, hunters or something. Anyways, I have a basket. You should try it. <laughs> ah, Mr. Fire, bless me. I can get a proper... Let's get some proper uh, armor for our friend over here. Steel Nord. Maybe an iron helmet could be cool for him. Whoa! <laughs> she just launched that basket. It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like we have to stop a ritual to summon the Dark Brotherhood in our city. No I'm scared of that little boy. I'm not gonna touch that. Mr. Fire bless me. Potatoes. Leaks. Quickly. Before she shunts the barrel again. Uh, uh, what else we have? Jump, 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 jump on the table. Anything? Oh, she shunned it. Salt? It's fine. She doesn't know we're here. We are so sneaky. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the menace, okay? I'm the nightly chef menace. I just come. I don't steal your valuables. I just steal your ingredients. Tomatoes! Excellent. This will go well for my next... Exquisite recipe. Hmm. Yeah, we have a character. We have a character here we can uh, we can play with. Alrighty. That's all I wanted. Just needed a little a little raid. Oh, we can just search these barrels. This is great. Beggars are going around saying, Oh, I'm so hungry. Like, have you ever looked in a barrel? They're always filled to the brim with apples or sacks of flour. I just chill. Okay, actually, I would like for us to just wait until morning now that we've done a little nightly thieving. Alright, I need a room, Elda. Thanks. I'll show you to your room, right this way. I still can't believe Isabella's gone. She was such a helpful young lass. They're all talking about something, someone missing, someone dying. There's something sinister going on in Windhelm. Is this my bed? I'll assume this is my bed. I am gonna sleep like a giant hairy baby. Ah. Can I just do a little mistfire bless me? Thank you. Captain Lonely Gale, and Viola's at it again. Favorite. All right, let's hit the town. We have lots Lord to Gale's do today. Been wrecked since her sister was killed. Yeah. Okay. Hello. I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, look elsewhere. You're a merchant. I'd travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days? How long have you been in Windhelm? Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. Are you treated as badly as the Dark Elves? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. That's one way of looking at it. Alright, until next time. I want to actually see the slum. I want to walk the streets, get a feel- Hey, it's our friend from yesterday. Hi, mister. Would you like to buy some flowers? Please? Flowers? Uh... Sure. What do you have? Not much, but I hope you like them. Well, we'll see. It's not a very big selection you have here. She has 13 golds! I'll buy some flowers, okay? Don't look at me like that. Who are you? 
Where are your parents? They're... they're dead. My mama died when I was little. I... I don't remember her very well. My father was a Stormcloak soldier. One day he left and didn't come back. I'm all alone. I... I try to sell flowers so I can buy food. It's not much, but... What else can I do? Whoa! Mimir! I... Could adopt you, if you want. Really? Do you... Do you have a place I could live? Uh... Well, it's just, I'm more of a traveling sort of guy. Oh, well, it's, uh, thanks anyway, I suppose. Sophie, a possible adoption candidate. Once we have a safe, loving home. Hmm. We'll get to the home part. The other two I'm not so sure about. Anyways, there are barrels here with tomatoes, with cabbage. It, they were just made for me. <laughs> Oh boy. Potatoes. All I need now is leeks and the Yes. Prophecy is complete. Once you find a stack of barrels containing those four ingredients, the gods are on your side. I right, will remember Sophie. We'll remember Sophie and her plight. For now, I want to head head down to the harbor where we can find some more of the Aragonians hanging around. Because I know that there's... They're being, you know, oppressed, treated poorly. I figure there's probably someone here in need of some assistance. Alrighty. Look, we don't have much love for your kind down here. Probably best if you just left. Alright, I guess I'll be going then. What? Another day, another septum. You look pale. By the hist, if I don't get something soon, I don't know how I'll get through the week. Are you alright? No, I'm not. I feel like my scales are clawing into me. Maybe you could help an old Argonian out? Uh, coming here was a bad idea. I heard some of the sailors talking about how they stashed a bottle of double distilled skooma in the Nissus Corner Club. I just need a taste. I'll get it for you. Thank you. I'll be waiting for that bottle. I'm peddling drugs for lizards now. Some skooma. Skooma, skooma. Alrighty. I used to be an adventurer like you. Oh, you. Yeah, no. And I took an arrow in the knee. You did, did you? Skyrim isn't very friendly for Argonians, so we mostly just keep out of the way. Alright, what do you want then? The helm has been hard on my people. But our fortunes will turn, and we have shelter and food. Are you always so happy? Oh, yes. After all, what's the point in being miserable all the time? I know life on the docks isn't easy. Sometimes life puts you in difficult circumstances you didn't choose. But being happy or unhappy is a choice you make. And I've chosen to make the best of things that I can. I admire that, Shavi. Your people have bad luck. We have not fared well outside our native Black Marsh, but we're determined to make the best of things. I began praying to Xenathar, the god of wealth, to bring us some fortune, but thieves made off with my sacred amulet almost as soon as I bought it. I could find your amulet for you. Shavi would be in your debt, kind one. Find Shavi's amulet of Xenathar inside Lost Knife Hideouts. I enjoyed our talk. It was very pleasant. I'm just gonna bring up my map here. I'm gonna remove this. Lost knife hideouts. Alright. Oh. We do also have plenty of Nords here with some boats that might take us interesting places. I wish the Nords, Argonians, and Dark Elves and Windhelm got along better. Me too. We're used to getting by on scraps, but the Shatter Shields want everything for nothing. Someone giving you trouble? Torbjorn Shatter Shield. I wish someone would beat the coin out of his fat fists. He clings to every septum. He says an Argonian's labor is only worth a tenth of a proper Nord worker. My people are not slaves. What if I talk to Torbjorn? I kind of know him by now. You can try. 
but we've gotten nowhere talking to him ourselves. That's the man we gave our amulet to. How long have you lived in Windhelm? I came here as a hatchling. The only thing colder than Skyrim is the Nords themselves, but we stick together. Hmm. Why are all the dark workers Argonians? We work where we can get work. The Nords don't like unloading their ships, so we do it instead. Sometimes cargo goes missing. <laughs> Oh, that's such a great line. Oh. May the earth beneath your feet be always soft. <laughs> yes, yes, moist earth upon you. Mm. Mistfire bless me. Let's enter this ominous building. Oh, say it actually is. Uh, hello? You're the only one here? I know this place looks horrible. Please, don't hold it against the company. I've heard about the East Empire Trading Company, but this... I know this place looks horrible. Please, don't hold it against the company. Why is it so run down? Sad, isn't it? We can't afford to keep the place running since these attacks started. Pirates, you see. Raiding all along the coast, from Hammerfell to Vardenfell. Only the Shattershields appear safe. Oh, well, that's suspicious. Who are the Shattershields? A very powerful family in Windhelm. They run a private shipping operation, and would love to have the docks to themselves. Wouldn't surprise me if they were in league with the pirates somehow. Do you have any proof of that? Not yet, no. But perhaps an intrepid person such as yourself could help with that? They have a dark elf who oversees their operations. Suverus Atherin. Ah, Suverus. She's meticulous to a fault, and keeps a logbook with every transaction she makes. If it were to somehow end up in my hands, I wouldn't argue. Rise in the East. <laughs> Steal Suvaris Atheron's logbook. What else can you tell me about these pirates? They call themselves the Blood Horkers. They've been around as long as I can remember, but only recently focused on our ships. A dastardly group, but they're more than simple brigands. Shrewd, clever, not to be trifled with. Why not fight back? Our own security forces are limited, and all the mercenaries are tied up in this ridiculous war. We don't even know their base of operations, and attacking single ships won't really solve the problem. I get it. Uh, until next time. Until next time. All right. A not so subtle er, nods for us to go stealing. Now. Alfred Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Wow. Shouted him apart. That's something. Clan Shattershield office. They're right next door. So, let's pursue this for now, shall we? Let's have a look around. Thief of Virtue. I can take this. Because Suvaris likes us? Is that why I can go freely? I think so. Beggar Prince. Report I Assaster at Ioneth. The Wolf Queen, Volume 5. We'll take that. Oh, Fury and Holgar. I think I have that one, but just in case. What's in the sacks here? What you got, Suvaris? Decided to stop by when you're at work? Make awkward small talk. That sort of thing. You think if I... Rah! I had an urge to do that for some reason. We're one of the same kind, you and I. Ah, uh, she I'm is our friend. Anyways, you have this book right here. Wait. Oh, I can't take it. I thought I could take it. Okay, let's see. Private property of Severus Atheron. Please return to her in Windhelm if found. Journal for month of last seed, year 201 of the fourth era. First of last seed. Spoke with Master Torbjorn in the morning. Pleased with projects to increase competitiveness of shipping office. Spent afternoon overseeing offices and various paperworks. Moderate lunch and heavy dinner. Second of last seed. Punished one of the dock workers for lazy... Wait a minute, is this the same Suvaris that was like, oh, they're treating us so poorly? 
two days rations. Empty stomach means less good work for a few days, but he'll work hard from here on out. <laughs> Moderate lunch and dinner. Third of last seed. Correspondence with Uncle Mithorpa and Morrowind. Sadness continues to abound, flowing west. Light lunch, no dinner. Fourth of last seed. Reports that our pirate friends are offering to let the company ships through in exchange for gold. We'll need to look into this. Heavy lunch and dinner. Fifth of last seed. Tried to get in to see Master Torbjorn about the potential issues, but he proved too busy tending to his wife and daughter in mourning. Did not wish to intrude. Skipped lunch. Waiting at the Shattershield house. Moderate dinner. Sixth of last seed. Explain situation to Master Torbjorn. As usual, he did not wish to know details, only how much money I needed to ensure smooth operations. I depart tomorrow for Dawnstar, hoping to catch the captain at the Wind Peak for his crew's regular festivities. Heavy lunch, skip dinner in favor of packing. Seventh of last seed. Beginning journey, plan to be back by the twelfth. Fifteenth of last seed. Return safely, though not unscathed. Bandit attacks delayed the initial travel, then Stieg Saltplank proved to be more uncooperative than I had hoped. Chipped in some additional gold out of my own purse, some cleverness in the books will see it repaid, and the deal was done. Eight on the road, light meals all around. Sixteenth of last seed, hoping word gets back to Stieg's betters of our new arrangements before more company ships can make it through. Found the Argonians had completely fouled up the operations in my absence. No surprise there. Need to see the old one's skooma supply. I should keep them motivated. Heavy lunch and dinner. So she... I just got a totally different opinion of you. Shipping? We always offer better service than the East Empire Company. And I stood up for you. I stood up for you. These What's in the lockbox? Right. Close enough. No, but I didn't. No, but I didn't think that was a crime. Why is that a crime? That's... Look, listen. I can. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? I'm used to oblivion, and there's a big red hand. How about you look the other way? Listen. Then let me speed your passage to Sovengard. I stepped in a bucket. Don't let me. Just. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're not friends after all, Suvaris. Oh, you sneaky girl. One of the same kind, you and I. Yeah, one of the I'm same kind. I'd rather eat... No, I'm not going to say what I was going to say, because I am a classy guy. So, we're going to need to get her book. And once we have... I, I don't even feel like raiding now. I don't even care. Mistfire, bless me. This your book? It's what I think of it. Alright. It is a very interesting contrast, though, the fact that she is oppressed, but she is in return oppressing. Oh. There's things to dissect there. Alright, I said I wasn't gonna loot, and then I immediately turn around and loot. Well, we got what we wanted, Who except for... The shatter shield girl. Oh, it's a tragedy. What a tragedy indeed. Anyways, Mistfire bless me and all. I'm gonna open this. I don't know why I assumed it wasn't a crime. I think because we were friends and I just felt kind of safe. What do we got? I'll just be taking that. No lunch. No dinner. Because I just got your gold, girl. Okay, we have the book. Let's go back to the East Empire Trading Company now after that fiasco. Helgen. Destroyed by a dragon. Yeah. Now what then, you and your honeyed words? why did you go if out? You We're not doing anything wrong, illegal. I'll have proof of Shatter Don't treasure. talk about it! The guard is right there! Shh! Yeah, we're not talking about stealing what... Hey, Orthus. Yep. Book, hey. I'll have here. Proof of Shatter it's treachery. here. Here. Take it. How did you get it? No, never mind. I probably shouldn't know. I see. It looks like Severus has been traveling to Dawnstar to meet with a pirate crew there. Get to Dawnstar and see what you can find out about these rogues. I'd wager they won't be too far from the tavern. Try to find out where their fortress is. The captain, Stig Saltplank, has to know something. Alright, it's a quest. Anyway, uh, Mr. Fire bless me. He does take the book. I would like the book back again. Please. Thank you. Very good. Get away from me. 
Because <laughs> I would like to actually store it away. It is a collectible after all. And it's no longer a quest item, I do believe. So, it will implicate us in matters though, but we can deal with that. Anyways. To hire a boat? Gort. That's a name. I can take you to any port on the coast. I would like to hire your boat. Where are you headed? A boat from Gort. Solitude or Dawnstar. Well, it's good to know the options there. Farewell. Even though we haven't visited those cities yet. Captain Gallen does the business around here. I'm just a ship's name. You though? Talk to Captain Gallen if you're looking to book passage. Hey, you Captain Gallen. Passage to Solstheim. You won't find a finer vessel than the Northern Maiden. Solstheim. Surprised you've never heard of it. It's an island northeast of here. That's a small dark elf town called Ravenrock. And a handful of Nords living in Skull Village. People don't usually sail over there unless they have a particular reason. It can be a pretty rough place. How much will it cost me? I'll give you a fair price. Not many people headed over there these days. If you ask me, I can't blame them. Things aren't what they used to be out there. Why sail there at all, then? They still pay me for supplies and passage. And I can always use the coin. Still interested in heading over there? Not now. Suit yourself. I'll be here if you change your mind. So that's passage to Solstein when that time comes. Hello. Sorry, but I'm not looking to hire any more crew right now. Oh, uh, what do you mean? I'm a, <laughs> I'm the, the the ship cook. You don't know what freedom really means until you've lived on the river. You're the ship captain. The North Wind is my mistress, and I'm her master. I don't tolerate any disloyalty. You looking for work? Got a sailor who thought running a gang of thieves would be more money than hauling my cargo. You make an example of that gang. I'll give you a year's worth of pay. They're as good as dead. The heart's the spirit, right? See you around. Kill the leader of Stony Creek Cave. All right. Hyar has a quest too. Never much cared for Windhelm. The place is depressing. That is amazing. I'm a lot happier out here on the deck than I am wandering around in that ruin of a city. That's a majestic caterpillar, and I love it. All right, one more thing before we leave off tonight. We've picked up lots of quests here at the docks. <laughs> We've been sent by an Argonian to steal skooma from a dark elf corner club, which sounds like trouble all around. We've been asked to go retrieve things kill things <sighs> but there is one thing that I would like to pursue that I've been thinking about for quite a while now and it's down this street right here then it's true what everyone is saying that Aventus Artino is doing the black sacrament trying to summon the dark brotherhood oh, no Stemart always stealth stealth no, low profile not. those are just tales fine then I'll invite him out to play he lives right there I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! Huh, then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Okay. All the Argonians at the docks are nice to me. Good thing, too. Her father would run them off. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, anyways. Keep walking, kid. Miss Far bless me. It broke. That's great. Barely even touched it. So we are hearing dark things. Nobody wants to do anything about this Arantino boy. So very tired. I guess it's up to us. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. <laughs> I Come bet on, I'm not what he's expecting. Throwing. You'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. So, very tired. Hey, kid. You've come at last! I knew you would! What in the... Are, are you alright? 
come. I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, yes, of course. The Black Sacrament. It took so long, so very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. Contract? My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grelod the Kind! Innocence lost. Please don't kill Constance the show. She really is kind. Are you sure about this boy? Murdering this woman? I've never been more sure about anything in my entire life. Someone like Grelod doesn't deserve to live one more day. She's a monster! Assassinations don't come cheap, boy. I have a family heirloom you can have. Supposed to be sort of valuable. Uh, I hope that's all right. Hmm. Tell me about your mother. What happened? She got sick last winter when the snows came. And she just... she never got better. Not all year. One night, she fell asleep and never woke up. So now I'm all alone, and the Jarl said I have to go into Honor Hall Orphanage. It's not fair! Hmm. Please hurry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Well then... Broad is the headmistress of Honor Hall Orphanage. You just told me. We have quite a task ahead of us. Stemvar, this is probably not what you thought you signed up for. Please don't kill Constance the show. She really is kind. I'm not going to kill a kid. Is she a kid? I don't know. Regardless, this is going to go down a dark, dark path. And while we aren't going to start it right away, it's good to know that the dark wheels of destiny are set in motion. Guys and girls, we got a companion! We have a city filled with quests and adventure to check out. We've only gotten to about like half the stuff, so there's probably gonna be one more city episode. We gotta stop by the castle, of course, meet Ulfric Stormcloak himself. Lots to do, so I will see you in the next episode. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, Stay dark. Goodbye.